All right, so this is going to be a demonstration of a uh, an auto hotkey script. Um, uh, what we'll do is we'll create a uh, like a polygon, like a sphere or something like that, lovely little sphere, and we'll save this. Let me get rid of that thing here. Can't delete it within there. All right, let me delete it there. So I'm going to call this sphere, and then when I hit enter, I get this pop-up: student version file, continue, cancel. Right, and this will happen every single time that I go to save something. Um, not a big deal, except it can become a big deal if. Um, you know, this student version file, I've heard that people who reference files get this pop-up a lot and they just have to click, you know, con click continue, 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 that kind of thing. And for me personally, I use uh, Maya's autosave feature and every time, you know, and it autosaves every 10 minutes for me. And every time I go to autosave, I get this little pop-up, which I then have to hit, you know, continue to close the thing and to have, a, have it actually save. Uh, so it can become kind of annoying after a while. There is a script, an auto hotkey script, um, uh, right here. So if I um, open with Notepad, uh, this is what it looks like, and I just have this running in the background. So what I'll do is I'll just double click it to launch it, and you can see like right here, closed gen version file pop up. And if I were to go to File, Save Scene As, and we'll call this Sphere 02, you'll notice that without me having to move the mouse cursor, the thing just saved and closed the thing automatically for me. All right, so if I go to File, Save Scene As, and just overwrite it, it just hits that Continue button for me. I don't have to do anything. It just do it all day and it'll just close that thing. So very helpful. I don't have to think about that pop-up anymore. Um, very, very helpful with the auto-saving. Um, you know, I get that little pop-up that shows up, it'll save it for me, and I'm done with it. Don't have to manually click that thing every single time. And again, if you do file referencing, I think this becomes particularly useful. Um, basically, what you need to do in order to have this uh, work is, I think, you need to download and install Auto Hotkey. Um, is the first thing, and then what I'll do is you need to get this file. Um, so I'll I'll link this to you so you can have that. Uh, one second, the phone's ringing. All right, back again. Um, yeah, so you need to have Auto Hotkey installed, and you need this file right here. Um, this file, I didn't, you know, I made this file, but I wasn't the one who created the script. Um, the uh, the script came from this guy right here, like this forum post. You know, this is, I want to give him credit for this. So, like, I created an auto script to close this pop every time it appears. Don't be scared to use this. It's not a virus. It is simple code to close that window. And this is what, you know, he came up with. And so I just copied that into, you know, like this section right here. Um, you know, so it was very nice of him to do that. Used it for a while now. Um, works great and makes working in Maya, a student version of Maya, uh, much more enjoyable. Um, yeah, so let's see. So once you have AutoHotKey installed, basically all you have to do is you need to just double click on this file and then you'll get this auto hotkey thing pop up, you know, popping up, and then that will run in the background, closing that window for you as you work. So yeah, that's basically it. Yeah, hopefully that helps.